Hi, this is Rose from Bighorn Library. Thanks so much for joining us for another craft video. Adorable new book came into the library by Ellie Sandal called Follow Me. A book for young children about ring-tailed lemurs, one of my favorite animals, and the children absolutely enjoyed it. Got some rhyming words, got a little drama, got some interesting things to look at on each page, and of course the wonderful lemurs. So what else could you do but have a lemur craft to follow? Now when we do a craft, I sort everything out and I put it into a little plastic bin because we rarely have more than half a dozen children, ten usually at the very outside. Um, this is plenty big enough. You might want a bigger bin if you have a bigger library, but it helps keep everything organized and sorted so we don't uh, lose track of things. Take a look on our ring-tailed lemur. Isn't he great? I think he's just adorable. And this is really simple stuff. Black and white pipe cleaners that have been twisted up to make the tail, and we've used tape to attach these at the back because, frankly, glue is not going to cut it in this instance. Everything else is done with glue and markers. A big round circle. And then another circle which we've offset just a tiny bit off of the white circle to show that it's a bit of a pointed nose. And you know, when you're doing this kind of craft stuff with kids, tell them why you're doing the things you're doing. I don't know how much kids remember. Actually, that's not true. I've got children and grandchildren, and I've done this kind of work for years, and they remember everything you say to them. Maybe not consciously, but uh, it all stays in there. So anytime you can give a little lesson on perspective or art or whatever, why not go for it? That goes on there. Two ears glued on behind like that. And the distinguishing figures, the marks of a ring-tailed lemur is clearly the ring tail, but also that they have these reddish orange eyes. So we've got red orange circles for the eyes and then we colored in the dots, but you could also have small dots or small stickers to use for the center of the pupil of the eyes. Or if you happen to have some googly eyes, the kids love using those. They make a little sound and they're just fun to attach on. And then as in the book, when you go follow me, follow me, the kids were playing with their lemurs and following each other all about. They had a good time, and I hope your kids will too. Bye-bye now.